Hello everyone, today we will see the important industry rules of Indian Succession Act 1925. A person is deemed to die in the state when he doesn't make a will. Suppose if he makes a will, then the property will be distributed to the person whoever he has mentioned in that will. If he doesn't make a will, the law prescribes how to distribute his property to the successors after his death. For Hindus, we have Hindu Succession Act. For Muslims, we have personal laws. Similarly, for Christians and Parsis, we have Indian Succession Act 1925. Today, we will see the interstate rules for Indian Christians that has been mentioned in Indian Succession Act 1925. Today, we will see the some of the rules that have been mentioned from section 30 to 42 in Indian Succession Act 1925. So let's say suppose an Indian Christian male dies in the state and he is survived by his wife. Now she becomes the widow. Let's say they have children, a son and a daughter and son has two children and the daughter has a son. So in this condition, children and grandchildren are called lineal descendants. Now he is survived by widow and lineal descendants. So when the lineal descendants are present, the widow will get 1 by 3 share and lineal descendants will get 2 by 3 share. So in this case, when the parents are alive, the children won't get. So the grandchildren won't get the property because he is survived by his son and daughter. So his children won't, his children's children won't get. So here in this case 2 by 3 will be shared equally among his children that is his son and daughter. So 1 by 3, 1 by 3 each will get. Suppose if his son predeceased the father that is if his son dies before his father that 1 by 3 share will be given to his children. In this case only the grandchildren will get the property because the grandchildren's father is no more now again if both the son and daughter predeceased their father in this condition all the grandchildren will get the two by three share equally because they are in the same degree so they will share the property equally so two by three divided by three is two by nine so each will get two by nine so the first condition is there is no discrimination between a girl and a boy boy here both girl and boy will share the property equally unlike muslim law and another thing is if a indian female dies interstate the same rules and shares will be applicable whatever we have seen the same share and rules will be applicable suppose a indian christian female dies leaving his leaving her husband that time the husband will get 1 by 3 share and the lineal descendants will get 2 by 3 share. Let's see few other rules. Right. A person is served only by his widow. No other lineal descendants and kindreds are alive. So in that case the whole property will go to the widow. Suppose he is survived by his father and mother. Then that time 1 by 3 will go to his widow. Then remaining 2 by 3 will be taken by his father. Only if father is not present, then the 2 by 3 will go to his mother. Suppose he is survived by his brother and sister, the 2 by 3 share has to be allotted, that is, uh, uh, has to be divided equally between mother and his brothers and sisters. So in this case, the 2 by 3 in this picture, as shown in this picture, mother is there and two brothers and two sisters are there. So totally 5 people. The 2 by 3 will be divided by 5. So 2 by 15. So each will get 2 by 15 in this case. So widow will get 1 by 3 and remaining kindreds. Kindreds are nothing but mother, father, brothers and sisters. Suppose brothers and sisters are not there. Then in their position, their children also can take their property we have already seen the doctrine of representation the same in the hindu succession act the same is applicable here also so thank you so much this will help you to solve the problems in exams in family law hope you find it useful thank you